Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back. Welcome to. I, sh I appreciate the support either way. I really do. My name is Joe Josh. I go by iChart Daily. Today is February 25th, 2025. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update to the indicator how to get it, how to import it, how to change the settings how to use it. This is not financial advice. This is a window to my thought process. I'm trying to create something that gives you a visual that we could set alerts on that eliminates the emotions out of your trading and keeps it very robotic, right? Think about if you were writing a script or a bot and you literally had to give it commands or trigger points, meaning I do this if this happens, I take profit. If this happens, I do that if that happens. This is very amateurish trading, okay? You're not looking for support, resistance. You're literally just opening up longs, taking profit when this happens, opening up, closing that position, opening up shorts when this happens, taking profit when this happens, and I'll explain everything. So First things first, uh, first, this should be what your screen looks like. Regular regular candlestick patterns. Sorry, I can't talk today. Regular candlestick patterns. Um, I also have combined the two scripts. So now you really only need one plus the divergence indicator that I'm also working on to make that one um, better. But as of right now, it's mine and another indicator. So I will show you how to do it. First things first, it my settings and the indicator that I am using and making works on a daily time frame. I explain this to a lot of people that ask me, can I use it on a 15 minute? Possibly, um, but you're going to get more fake outs on shorter time frames. And giving, just look at Bitcoin's price today at 86.666. I mentioned this play was going to happen Thanksgiving 2024. Because of hidden bearish divergence playing out on longer time frames. So I am trying to catch swings on the longer time frames because you have less fake outs. And when you have death crosses and breaks of market structure, it holds value to your shorter time frames, right? One of the rules that I try and install into your brains is long term trends predict short term outcomes. The shortest time frame that I like to chart in this day of my age where I know I have days to weeks of swing trade of the swing trade to be open is a 12 hour or a daily time frame. So again, the moving average, everything will change depending on the time frame that you're looking at. The divergences and everything. So first thing you're going to do is click this down arrow. You're going to change it to the hike in she. I favored it so that I could constantly go back and forth. For this strategy, you are switching it to the Heiken is she. Yes, you could possibly use it with the regular candles, but once again, I am teaching you my strategy. The mathematical uh, equations change when you're changing the candlesticks patterns. The numbers change. So once again, it is the Heiken is she chart. Next, you're going to go to Pine Editor. You're going to click this button. You're going to create new. You're going to click indicator. You are going to highlight everything that you see in that page and delete. You could even press this button right here to maximize the panel. You are then going to take the script that I gave to you, copy the entire thing, and paste it into this place here. You're then going to see this button right here at save. You are going to name it whatever you want okay you can make it i chart daily blah blah okay you're going to save it you're then going to click this button here to add it to your chart you now have the momentum swing indicator okay it also has the moving average that changes from bullish to bearish depending on if the RSI is above or below. So first thing you're going to do is click the settings tab, the second one in. You're going to change the bar color from white. I'm sorry, this one is, it doesn't matter the color. This one we're going to make the transparency zero. 
this color we keep it red white sorry white is the market top indicator clear is the market bottom indicator the moving average I like mine white and this purple color I also like it the thinnest possible labels is going to show the bullish or bearish order block so you need to have that on I don't want to see the labels on the side click on input bullish label I like my colors blue and um, blue and red sorry this needs to be this go back in the transparency 50 for the blue 45 for the red market bottom once again it could be any color the most important thing is you change uh, you change the transparency to zero to turn the candles hollow market top indicator is white label size i like it tiny i've added confluence and confirmation to the order block so it will use the rsi and macd whether it's bullish or bearish as well as it now prints right away um 21 and we are good so now your chart should look like this let's get rid of this i'll make another video on bitcoin where i think it's going to really quick the cme gap of 80 to 75,000 that i've been talking to since thanksgiving on the weekly chart but now you could clearly see you have your moving average changing depending on if the rsi is above or below on the time frame you're looking at you have your order blocks filling another thing uh, you would have to go to indicators you're going to type in divergence it is right here divergence for many indicators by lonesome you're going to click that indicator once again we're going to change a couple of the settings we are going to change the divergence type to regular and hidden we're going to change the show indicate indicator name to don't show we are going to scroll down change the transparency on all of the colors of the labels to zero to turn them off all we're looking to see change that to white change this to white all we want to see is the numbers we don't want the moving average we don't want any of this we are good take this off take this off and we are back we are back so disclaimer you're not going to catch the top you're not going to catch the bottom this strategy waits for confirmations and allows you like i said to take the emotions out of the the play right i mean for the longest time everyone was saying we're gonna go up we're gonna go up we're gonna go up trump he's gonna be buying the reserves gary gensler's out right all these coins where's all the positive news now that it's down 40 50 percent in a month right so the strategy is you look at the order block that just happened I'll give you an example the order block that has previously happened was this one on january 31st right you open up your short when this goes off so let's just say you got in over here at the 100,000 to 99,000. you are taking profit so open short here the purple line confirms where you could potentially go back to once you have the bullish divergence go back so once again short is here you open it you first get your take profit here at 97,000. i'm taking not financial advice probably 80 percent and i'm leaving 20 percent for the house okay because it's not confirmed yet that the play is over when does the play officially close when the next order block comes in so technically we're still in the short here and once again that 20 percent we could have taken profit again maybe a half the percent up to 20 percent and then you would have instantly opened uh not open but that rest of the money is now in the green again same thing here you are opening up your long let's just say anywhere from 95 to 96,000. 
The line turns white, confirming we are officially bullish. You are taking profit once the first can uh, the first number comes in, roughly anywhere from 103 to 104,000. We go back to the moving average because it is a white line, right? If you are in a short and the line is purple, that's usually a continuation to the downside. If you're in a long and the line is white, you could have a continuation to the upside. Unfortunately, we did not. We had a red order block. So this play here, technically, let's just say you got in at the white line, got out at the purple line. You're looking at a 6 to 7% play with this strategy on a daily time frame. If you are using leverage, I recommend just 2, 3x. It gives the play a beautiful and enough cushion for allowing it to go up below the order block if it's a bullish one or above the order block if it's a bearish one because I've back tested it sometimes, right? There's a 10% chance that the order block is here. It does this below it and then pops back up. And then it was a play, but I don't want you to get liquidated in a nutshell. So 2x, 3x, call it a day. The 6% plays turn to 12, 18. You get the point, right? But once again, if you get, I, I keep uh, going off, off script. So here, if you get a double, order block within the order block that you're in. So once again, opening up your long at 59, 60,000, you are taking profit at 65. Once you see another order block happen at 66 to 68,000, you have the opportunity to add to the position, whether it's the profit that you took already once and twice, or new funds. Uh, financial advice, do what you want to do. So once again, you are in the long, take profit. You are doing nothing, you take profit. You can add back to the position, take profit. Take profit, take profit, position closes here. So technically this play from the first order block, right? Even if it's from here, was 97 days, even if you didn't sell here, let's just say 100 days at 50% with the 2x leverage, you're cool as gravy. So that's the strategy. That's the video. I will have a link in the description for my Discord. If you have any questions, message me. I'll have a link in the description for the Fiverr account. Um, it's 10 bucks for the script. I'll also provide you with the divergence script as well, so you don't have to deal with none of that nonsense. Um, Anyone that previously bought it, I have all of your emails. I'm going to be sending you tonight the updated script. Um, I appreciate it. If anyone does buy today and I update the script again, once again, one of the main, the only requirement I have on the Fiverr gig is what is your email? Because it, it's not, it's like an ongoing subscription, let's just say. Um, I put in my Discord, I'm not a coder, bro. Like, I'm not a developer. I used my creativeness and my technical technical analysis skills to create a script. Someone tried to abuse me. Like, ah, it's a, it's a version 4. I didn't even know what that meant. You know what I did, though? I went to ChatGPT. What's the differences? How do I update it? What are the bug fixes? And I made it even better. So now the, the order blocks don't wait for a 2-3 bar co confirmation reprint. They happen when it does happen. Um... If, I'm totally transparent. If anyone has any other suggestions that they would recommend, like I'm possibly even thinking um, adding a Fibonacci, uh, where would it take profit if it lines up with the divergence indicator? Um, that's another thing I wanted to show you. You can see how this is a 4. These are live. So if it goes from a 1 to a 2 to a 3 to a 4, go back to the settings and then turn it from... Uh, don't show to full, and then you'll get a list of the divergences that are happening. Obviously, if you have a five, a six, a seven, I'm curious to see which ones are forming, and then I'll turn it back off because I'm not uh, I'm not trying to have all that messiness there. That's the video. Love you guys. Appreciate support. Any comments, questions, concerns, 100% leave it in the comment section. I get it to everyone. If you appreciate these videos, do me a favor, like. 
um, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 to 1,000 subscribers and then a couple of hundred hours watch so I can start monetizing again and get back to where I was before my last channel got um, hacked and deleted. So love you guys. Enjoy the day. Next video coming out. <sighs> How you like that market, cuzzy? <laughs> uh, if anyone remembers me talking about hit and bearish divergence on a weekly, two-week, and monthly time frame never being a good thing, regardless of who's the president, what's going on, the whole nine, do me a favor, put Thanksgiving video in the comment section. Love you guys. Enjoy the day.